Hey, I'm Jack Fenton. I'm the co-founder of Warwick Esports Society, um, and I've been working as a consultant on this project since its inception. And this centre is created to support that community, to make them feel welcome, to make them feel happy, and to give them those opportunities. Because when you're physically in an environment like this, um, Pursuing a career feels much more legit. For starters, we're a university society, right? So without the community, we wouldn't exist. Um, it's something that's very close to my heart. I am very community driven in the esports industry in general. Um, I only play video games with other people. I'm a very, um, you know, I, very sociable person. So I, we try and reflect that a lot in the society. So we're going to use the space to teach all sorts of skills. So whether it's teaching current students of the university um, content creation skills, or whether it's collaborating with local schools like Coventry College, Leamington College, um, and people like that who want to teach their younger students basic stuff, all the way down to what is esports and educating about the industry and how it's growing and how to get involved, but also teaching smaller skills like internet safety, um, anti-bullying, um, especially awareness raising around accessibility issues in esports, sexism issues in esports. Um, so having this space to run women's nights, to do charity events, to do all these different awareness raising programs, we're going to be able to kind of welcome everyone. This is a centre that's for the region and for upskilling the whole region, not just the students at the university. We kind of talked about running um, like workshops and stuff for streaming and shoutcasting and stuff. Just trying to basically give whatever experience we have to, to students out of the college. So excited. So it's been so long in the making, this kind of thing. It's amazing. And it really gives us a platform to be able to, well, A, give back to the people that have been supporting us already. So players that we've had in the community for a long time, but also people that necessarily haven't been able to uh, interact with us before. Sushi, the, the Rocket League, um, what, a uh, big name in college esports, I suppose, um, <laughs> or collegiate esports. Um, he's already big integrated into the society. I think he's actually running to work at the center. Um, so he, he's been very, very interested and very involved. Um, definitely, we've had a couple of people join our discords as well who are still in college asking about Warwick esports, the center, and that kind of thing. Um, the reach has been really good, actually. Jack has done a, a, a a monstrous job promoting this and making sure this gets done properly um, but yeah people so definitely seem interested in it and as well um, you know plans are to actually try and use this space to help Coventry College with their esports diploma and that kind of thing um, so outreach like that is going to be really cool for colleges as well and they'll they'll be interested in that just because we've got this venue to give them. Our key plans with the local schools is to allow them to use this space. Um, we're going to have them in here, we can teach classes, we can do school trips, and um, we can do all sorts of variety of things. And then there is that aspiration to be able to collaborate with people like Digital Schoolhouse and BEA who can come in here, run events, tournaments, and not only give young people and college students opportunities, but also allow our students to interact with them because there's so many people in this in the society alone that are so talented they'll be able to teach their skills to these younger people but they'll also be able to learn skills whether they're producing a tournament or casting the tournament or planning it out those sorts of things we want to run events for those age groups um, but not just benefit those age groups benefit everyone involved This is it, this is the end of the video, but if you enjoy videos like this, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons to be the first one to see content from British Esports Association in the future.